Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 Mod Showcase video, and it is the Top 5 Mods of the Week, Episode 211. But before we do take a look at this week's mods, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. Now let's take a look at the Top 5 Mods from this week, and kicking off the Top 5 countdown, in 5th place this week I've got... The Boba Fett Audio Enhancement mod from Adonarnet. So this mod overhauls Boba Fett's audio in the game, adding over 120 voice lines from Empire Strikes Back, Battlefront 2 2005, Battlefront 2015, and Starfighter Assault. This also includes hero interactions as well, and I will share a few of the voice lines right now. 100, 200, 300, you guys are gonna make me rich. In fourth place this week, I've got the 104th cinematic mod from CT340. 2-4 Cypher. So this mod changes a bunch of the clone skins in-game to be ARF Troopers, an ATRT driver, Advanced Tanker Marksman, Advanced Marksman, Rifleman, things like that. So you can see that there are various asset changes along with additional assets that are not present in the game, such as the Airborne Trooper Helmet. In third place this week, I've got the Resistance Pilots mod from this guy 446. So this mod replaces the Cathex Spy of the Resistance with a pilot. It's a completely custom model, which looks cool. It's really well done from the helmet to the suit and such. It recreates what we see in the sequel trilogy films. There is also a custom portrait image for the respawn menu, which is a nice touch for this mod. Overall, I'm happy to see it. The runner-up for this top five Mod of the Week episode is... The Corporal Echo mod from Blue Nade. So this mod introduces the Clone Wars Season 7 version of Echo into Star Wars Battlefront 2. It replaces Lando and you have this complete custom model which looks awesome. It does have two different variations to choose from so you can pick which skin, whether it be the helmet version or the one without a helmet. I do like the details with this mod from his arm to his armour. There is a custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus with the helmet on, or an optional file that removes the helmet in the portrait image as well. Plus, there are star card images to go with it, and all are very well done. And last but not least, there is an optional file to change the front end animation. And the winner of this top 5 Mods of the Week episode is... The Cad Bane mod from Mank Demery. This mod replaces Bosk with Cad Bane, inspired by his appearance in Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett. As you can see, it's really trying to be as accurate as possible to the live action version of Cad Bane. It's not just a character model, but you do have the custom blaster model as well, so it's a really good package. A custom portrait image for the collection and respawn menus is also included. Which mods were your favourite this week? Be sure to comment down below which ones you enjoyed the most, and you can download all of them using the links in the description below. And if you do have a standout mod for this week, head on over to my channel page, go to the community tab, and vote in this week's poll. I will share the results in next week's episode. But now let's take a look at the results from the poll that over 2,000 of you voted in last week. So the winner with 62% of the vote was the Clone Wars Droidica mod. Then in second place was Pingu. Third place was Outlaw Chewie. Fourth place was Finerte. And fifth place with 4% was Agent Rezak. If you enjoy this video, please do drop a like to help support the channel and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. And if you did miss any of the previous episodes, click on the playlist on screen right now and I shall see you in my next Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.